Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 58 for the Friday the 27th of November 2015. <laughs> this is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind. I'm Amos and I almost made it through that, not even close. <laughs> What's up, Ken? <laughs> that was awesome, man. Oh my god. This is like, this is a thing now. This is content. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Man, uh, what an interesting week this has been. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. today, today is uh, Black Folk Day um, or Black Friday? Is that what it is? I don't well, know. It's, Siri wants us to think that it's it's Black Folks instead black of Black folks. Friday. Happy Black Folks. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> to, to let everybody in on 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 the joke, we have a. a well, no, slack. no. It'd be way way better for them just to have racial epithets. You know, just think that we're just slandering people. Yeah, we're just or we're just or congratulating people on the color skin. Uh, whatever you know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, man, you're so lucky you're black. <laughs> so basically what it boils down to, I was trying to tell Amos happy Black Friday yesterday because he, you know, people were trying to tell him happy Thanksgiving, but it was in Korea, it was the next day it was Friday. So I was trying to say, okay, well, happy Black Friday. But Siri wanted me to say happy black folks instead. So, so you know what that means though, right? Uh, that that means I'm wondering where in the past you've written black folks so much that Black Friday didn't make sense to Siri. <laughs> you racist that's fuck. What, that's what other people ask me, you know. I don't think I've ever, ever until yesterday. <laughs> I don't think I've ever put yeah, those words. There. I never I, I never did anything completely racial racially bigot, bigoted until I don't know, yesterday. I'm innocent <laughs> until yesterday. <laughs> I'm this whole thing. I'm a brand new racist. <laughs> oh, I, I like I shouldn't even be laughing at that, but that is fucking funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy oh shit. God. Man, so uh so Thanksgiving, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, man, it it was good. It was good. Um we went over to my friend Matt's house and we did sort of a, a potluck thing. Um Matt and his family provided the bulk of it. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Uh, but the rest of us brought the additional things, so you know, some sides and and whatnot. And once uh, again, being the cheapskate, that's cool. Terms of, hey, I brought my appetite, <laughs> and that was that was a big part of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it, it was man. Uh, had a really good time. Um, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> I, wow. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I had a, just a really good time. Good. So time. so we'll cut to the person that's actually got something to say about it. Yeah, um, hey, go ahead. How was yours? Our uh, uh, the the operators, the ops guys, the pilots and their wives and significant others, because they're not all just dudes, um, threw a Thanksgiving feast for all the maintainers and of course themselves. I mean, it's not like they just sat there and watched us eat, but um, it was good. I mean, they had like uh, like five turkeys and three hams, uh, more more sides and fixings that, uh, than you could imagine uh, filled right. up. We, we had it at the high school um, the high school cafeteria, and we filled up the cafeteria with people, and it was great. I mean, it, the uh, out of all the things that I had, the smoked uh, turkey was pretty good, and I had like three plates of ham. Um, <laughs> plates. Three plates of ham, and I'll tell you why. See, ham is really rich in both fat and protein, two things that it takes your body a while to digest. So I wanted my belly to be full as long as possible so I didn't have to take a, a food break because I was too busy playing fucking Fallout 4. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. So I didn't want to leave that game. Um, I have never been, I've never enjoyed running around in circles and walking so slowly because I'm carrying so much stuff in a game <laughs> so much before. It's, that is, it is ridiculously fun. <laughs> So um, have you enjoyed it that much outside of a game? Walking around in circles and being um, eh, walk well, slow. I've, no, I've been I've, I've been doing it for twenty years in the military. I'm I'm getting kind of tired of it. So, uh, <laughs> no, it's it's much more fun in the virtual world. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, but yeah, man, I I uh, I picked up uh, I joined the PS4 club. At, at, Welcome uh, at, <laughs> at your behest, and. Uh, uh, it's actually really cool. I got to give give props out. Um, it's not very often that that I'm really excited about something, and it's not very often my wife gives me the green light to spend a couple hundred dollars on on something that's fairly selfish. Um, 
but uh, she was like, "Yep, it's it's Star Wars." And go ahead. <laughs> so I don't know if I caught her in a special mood or what, but I I didn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So uh, that, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I picked that up and been playing uh, uh, <laughs> been playing Fallout Four uh, pretty much nonstop since we got off work on Wednesday, and. Picked up Rocket League yesterday. Mm, mm, uh, mm. I happen to know that you have also played some Rocket League. Yeah, well, okay. We actually talked about Rocket League a few days ago. And I was talking about how Scott Johnson's always talking about it. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, really? Like, race cars and soccer? Like, that just sounds too damn goofy. <laughs> well, Isaac, my youngest son, was like, I want this game. <laughs> and it, it was like 10 bucks on on. PlayStation Plus, or, or on the, the PlayStation, PlayStation Store. Plus. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, okay, fine. You know, go ahead and buy it. It's fine. And so he bought it, and he's like, here, Dad, play with me. I was like, ah, all right, all right, I'll play. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing it nonstop for about the last 24 hours. That shit is so much fun, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you go oh, through the tutorials God. and stuff? No. Oh, I had to go through the tutorials. tutorials. Yeah, I, I kept seeing tutorial. I kept seeing other people doing tricks and shit that I didn't know how to do. <laughs> so I was like, "This is bullshit. I got to learn this." So <laughs> now, yeah, you know, we've just been figuring them out as we go. Hmm. Me, Isaac, and Lucas have just been basically swapping the controller around and and playing. It's yeah, God, it's so much fun. Yeah, it, it's a completely goofy game, and yeah, I, I know their strategy because I get pissed off when people don't do it. I don't know what the, I don't know what the strategies are, but I know it pisses me off when like you're going for a goal and someone on your own team smashes into you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Really, that's actually worked out to our advantage before because me and Isaac earlier were playing on a team. Yeah, and that has worked out for us because I'll be going at just a cockeyed angle to where I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to shoot the ball into the goal, but I'm just cockeyed enough that it's not going to go in. Well, he'll come in and sideswipe me. Mm -hmm. Just enough to push the ball in. It's, oh man! No, and that's worked out for us like five, six, seven I, times. I don't, I don't have that luck. I don't know how it is that you can blow up cars, but I keep getting blown up by my own teammates. <laughs> so, and, and oh, nothing's okay. more discouraging than getting blown up in an indestructible car that can drive on the on the ceiling, fall down like what uh, an imaginary five hundred feet or some shit, yeah. land upside down, and just roll over and haul ass again. And your oh, teammate blows you up. That that's pretty. Uh, you know that's that gets aggravating pretty quickly. <laughs> it's, so, man, it's so much yeah. fun. Even when I'm sucking at it, it's it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's very easy to pick up. I'm I'm sure there are people out there that have uh, like trophies out the yang from all the cool stuff they've done. But I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I even tried to doing the goalie thing. You know, sitting back in the goal and waiting for the ball to come out. Yeah, that's. A lot easier in, in concept than it is in execution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the ghetto wag is beyond pro. That's awesome. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even at the rookie level yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm semi pro on the on the uh, yeah category whatever. No, I, I yeah. I, uh, uh. All right, so uh, <laughs> what else you got, man? <laughs> so real quick, uh, talking about the, the PlayStation Store. Yeah. Um, I have such mixed feelings about the PlayStation Store. <laughs> it, is, it is very nicely designed, but going to, like, finding the things that you want are, is not easy. Right. For example, you go like the weekly deals, and it's easy. It just brings up weekly deals, the shit that's on sale this week or whatever. But you can't choose which system you want to want to search on that. Or you go to new stuff and you can choose the system, but you can't like you can't sort it by the reviews. Like I want to, you know, see the shit that's reviewed top. You no know, nowhere in the site can you sort by reviews. Um, right, right. It's clearly a sales uh, project, not a you know, not a, a reviews site. So. I have mixed feelings. Like it's, it's great, it's great execution of a flawed idea. Yeah, you know, I haven't I haven't played too much with the new newer incarnation of the PlayStation Store. I remember when I first got my PlayStation Three, I was in there quite a bit, and I liked it. It was very simple, very straightforward. It was easy to find stuff, and 
now like it's been a really really long time since I've even been in the PlayStation store. Hmm. And then now with the with the PS4, I get in there and I'm looking and I'm like what the hell? It's just overwhelming. Yeah. The, the amount of content they have in there and the, the, the different categories and everything. Are you doing it from the so from the PS4 or from the... Yeah, from, okay. from the so PS4. I haven't yeah. done it on the PS4 yet. I've only done it on the web. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, oh, and web, you, still can't, you still can't filter or mm -hmm. sort on no, the... Well, oh you, you, you can, but not by reviews. Uh, not I to see. mention that it, all, it seems like every single game on there has... <laughs> The cumulative total of four stars or three and a half stars. Like, those are the only two <laughs> totals on there. There are no five star games. There are no three star or boat lower games. It's all three and a half or four stars. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I remember one particular instance. This is when I decided that uh, something was very wrong with how they were doing things. I saw in the, you know, the little quip or the little advertisement or whatever for Gauntlet. Ah. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun. How much is that? And I went and did the search for it because I was on a different screen later. Didn't find it. Came up with all kinds of add-ons for a particular game, all these, like, you know, armor add-ons and shit. Mm. Well, that does me no good because I don't know what that game is and I'm not going to fucking buy it. I'm looking for the little game where me and three other people can run around and kill a bunch of stuff and hope not to die until we get to, like, level <laughs> 5,472,000 or whatever. And <laughs> yeah. uh, couldn't find it. So a little bit later, I did another search for it, and it popped up. Exactly. Like, the search Weird. is within is restricted within the category you're looking. It's not a site-wide search. And that is very irritating. Yeah, so, that's bunk. That's, it's wow. probably by design, but like I said, it's, it's great execution of a flawed idea. Yeah, yeah. So. That's, wow. Hmm. But. It's crap. Uh, there are some great deals on there. Like. Yeah, if, you're, if, if you're late to the game like me and Kent, you can get Battlefield Four for like twelve bucks or some shit right now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the only Black Friday sales I did. <laughs> what about you? Fuck it! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I okay. Black Friday is against my religion. I do not go <laughs> out at all on Black Friday if I can at all help it. Well, I had to work today, so I had to go into work. And this morning before I left for work, I fed the dogs, and I realized, oh, my God, we're almost out of dog food. They're not going to have enough for tonight's meal. I'm going to have to go buy dog food somewhere. <sighs> like, son of a bitch. So I was like, all right, okay, that's fine. At lunch today, I went to the BX because I'm thinking, okay, it's the BX. How crazy is the BX going to be? Oh my God! It, the the problem. It, it, go ahead. It, it, dude, it was it was it was bad. It was people stepping over each other. There were carts. Like I was in a traffic jam of carts, and I didn't even have a cart. I was just trying to walk through. <laughs> so I, I finally forced, like, elbowed my way through to get to the dog food, and I almost had one in hand. And I looked over at the checkout lanes. There's no way. It was probably like a 20 to 30 minute wait mm -mm. for the checkout lanes. I was like, nope, I'm done. I'm out of here. So I decided, okay, all right. So when I leave work, I'm just going to go to this. Uh, uh, have you ever heard of Tractor Supply? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th they've got a really amazing pet supply mm -hmm. se uh, section there. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to stop there. I mean, come on. who Who's going to be Black Friday shopping there, right? Uh, I was wrong. I walked in there, dude. I've never cumulatively seen this many people in tractor supply. <laughs> they had all the checkout lines open and like minimum of six people in each line. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking serious? At tractor supply? Yep. People were stocking up on their car hearts, boy. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, th my problem with BX is that it's never really crowded in there. They are never staffed high enough to take care of the people. Mm. So whereas Walmart is so crowded, you can't possibly... I mean, if you add more staff in a Walmart, you're just going to add to the crowd. The BX <laughs> yeah. is the other way around. Like, you know, they have six lanes. Four of them are open, which is an all-time high. Two of them are, <laughs> are closed. Um, the customer service lane goes all the way back to the electronics section. <laughs> you know, um, and th there's stuff everywhere and there's no other employees in the entire store. Like the only employees that are in the BX are working the cash register. 
Like it's Black Friday. Yeah. yeah. Adds more people in there. Yeah. It's <laughs> true. Yeah, that's how it yeah. is. That's how it was here anyway. They opened it like six AM or seven AM here. Dude, okay. So my I had to work today, right? And there was yeah. one other guy that was also at work. He's a contractor. Mm-hmm. So we were like the only two people within probably a, a three mile radius that was actually at work. <laughs> and well, anyway, his wife works at the BX, and he mm-hmm. was telling me about the Black Friday sales. They apparently opened at some god awful hour, like four a.m. or some shit, or three. I think it was three a.m. this morning. Mm-mm. And he said that they had MacBooks, twelve hundred dollar MacBooks, on sale for six hundred dollars. Wow. I was like, oh shit. It's like I need to get over there. And he's like, hold on, let me let me text my wife and see if if there are still any. No, he was, and this is like probably eight thirty, maybe mm-hmm. nine this morning. He was like, "Oh no," he he said, or she said that they sold out at five mm-hmm. this morning. Yeah, Who the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Going fucking shopping at three a.m. They saved six hundred bucks. I call that a win. <laughs> there's there's something wrong with this uh, fucking country. There's, uh, the, Oh, there's a lot of things wrong with this country. Yeah, there's a lot of things wrong, but (laughs) that's the fucking indicator right there. Yeah. I'm sorry. That is... Yeah. (laughs) Um... Uh, How frustrated can you be? (laughs) Fucking Black Friday pisses me off. A lot of people. A lot of... Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of things piss me off. Anyway. (sighs) I'm better now. (laughs) Are you? (laughs) This is some good pumpkin ale. Yeah, yeah. It would seem that way. It's pump kick, the same thing I was drinking last week. Mm. Yum, yum. I'm currently trying to fix your uh, your video. I screwed it up. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn it. Oh, well. That's why we're still in beta. They're definitely still in beta. <laughs> what the fuck? Like- Sergeant Muffin says it's a great spectator sport. I, <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about me going ape shit on the show or... <laughs> Or I'm talking about my... Black Friday. <laughs> <clears throat> the people, yeah. <laughs> I, I can see someone like Dan walking through like a mall, not talking to anybody, just laughing at all the shitty stuff going on on either side of him as he's going down the middle. Like, yeah, that was my social event for the year. Thanks. <laughs> I can see him busting out his phone and just start recording random people. Like, I'm going to talk about this later in chat room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so um, right. no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So back to the PS4, real quick. Mm. The the thing that has uh that that the one thing that I saw that uh, really pisses me off about the PS4, mm-hmm. the Wi-Fi. Okay. Like, they're coming out with new revisions of it. We're on the third hardware revision. Still no 802.11 AC. My iPhone that I got a year and a half ago has 802.11 AC. Right, right. My router that I got a year and a half ago has 811, <laughs> 802.11 AC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My PS4 that I got three days ago <laughs> is still on N. Right, 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 right. It's a it's a not only a downloading streaming media device. It it it's also designed to upload and share to YouTube and Twitch and everything else. By design. Mm-hmm. These are not mm-hmm. like things that just got added on. These are things by design. The controller has a fucking share button built onto it specifically for this reason. And it's yeah, still on it, the it, oldest fucking <laughs> it's like why at, at the at the quality that 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 we're talking I think N is sufficient. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. It's not like you can run any any like high end camera hardware or anything like that because the only fucking thing that you can use is the PlayStation I. True, but if I have a 1080p game and I want to stream it in 1080p, and I'm on even the slightest bit of congested network. N is going to start faltering pretty quick. Okay. Just saying. Why not have Why not have the AC in there? 
I mean, it's not like yeah, it's no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just, I just, I don't know if it's as big a deal as what. Well, it's not as big a deal to me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, as what it is to you. Because I mean, you're you're streaming a game, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. To that, me, I think in is is definitely sufficient. Well, let's just say that, <laughs> let's just say that when uh when 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 I'm not living in a dorm room, I'm gonna have this thing hardwired into my my router. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, and that's okay. And that's the thing. Let, let, all right. So let me get into that for a second. <laughs> So, all right, so I'm playing Battlefront, and I'm playing uh, Rocket League, and I- I'm looking at all the-, the streaming things that the PS4 does, and I was like, huh, it'd be kind of fun to-, to do a Twitch account to stream a game and talk about it. And maybe the two of us getting on there and doing like a- an RMP Twitch gameplay session mm-hmm. or something like that, we can basically do the show while we're playing a game and be entertaining, and et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, oh, okay, so let me let me figure all this out. So I got my Twitch account linked up, and, uh, you know, t- just starting to test everything out and all that. I went in to try to stream a game, and my PlayStation tells me that my network is too slow. <laughs> and you're hardwired in. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, starting off, I was on Wi-Fi. Okay. I was like, okay, all right, all right. Um, weird because I can download like crazy and upload fine. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe the Wi-Fi is glitching or something like that. So I I got a, a cable and I I plugged it directly into the router. Reset. I even rebooted everything. Came back up. No, still. Still says it's too slow. Mm-mm-mm. So I don't know if that's a a problem in the hardware. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's telling me that it's too slow, but it's obviously not because I'm getting fifty megabits per second down yeah. and five up. You had to think I'm, about that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I was telling you it the other way around. Yeah, I was pulling five, five, down, five down, and down and fifty up. up like 50, what? Yeah. what? You should be running OBS if that's the case. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh. Uh, look, I'm just surprised you actually have a Twitch account, being the non-gamer yeah. that you are. Well, you know why I got one? Hmm. Yesterday when I was <laughs> <laughs> yesterday when I was helping uh, prepare our our uh, dish that we were taking over for the Thanksgiving meal, I <laughs> I saw on Twitter that they were doing the Twitch giving thing, uh, jury and and uh, and uh, his and his. Yeah, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley Paramore. Like Jesus. it's my daughter's name. I should be able to remember that. Yeah, right. Job, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say fake gamer girl. I was like jury and fake gamer girl. Yeah, um, was, and, yeah but, that was where my hangup was. I was trying to think of her, uh, her, her <laughs> right? typical user ID, and I was like, wait, no, that's not it. Yeah. So anyway, they were streaming on on her Twitch account on her fake gamer girl Twitch account. Mm-hmm. So to get into it, I had to sign up because I was I was streaming it on my um, on my phone. So I had to sign up for Twitch to get in there, and I was like, "Okay, Twitch. Let's. <laughs> I guess it's time for me to actually see what this thing is." Uh. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, now I'm on the Twitch. Yeah, I already hooked up my YouTube to it. I was gonna see if, if see about streaming some videos up to my personal YouTube. Um, but I think mm-hmm. if, if that's the case, the uh, we can just well we'll we'll talk about it after the show. But we, I got I got some ideas. Yeah. So, right on. Um. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, it seems to be about this time, right, Chaw? So, did you actually watch the TED Talk? I did not. Neither did I. All right. Good however, <laughs> <laughs> moving I <heard>. on. <laughs> however, I did watch a talk. Uh, it was not a TED Talk, though. Oh, this was actually you an have expo- me enthralled. Tell yeah. me more. Just wait. There's more than one site out there with educational, interesting content. What? Isn't that crazy? The internet isn't just full of, of slander and bullshit. <laughs> Please tell me well, about this well, other source you have found. <laughs> it is mostly all of those things. No, this talk was actually really good. It was it was an XOXO talk that was uh, I watched it on boingboing.net. I think it was. 
Anyway, the link's going to be in the show notes. But it was an XOXO talk that Veronica Belmont put on, and it was about being overtaken by a meme. And basically what it is, she was talking about how uh, the Internet's forever, and you put something out on the Internet, and it's going to be there forever, and it basically belongs to the public at that point. Mm Mm-hmm. Anything we put up there, whether it's the show, whether it's a, a comment that you make on Facebook, whether it's a picture you uploaded to your Snapchat or whatever it is, once it's there, it's there. Yeah. And it pretty much belongs to everybody, and right. everybody can do whatever they want with it. And so she talked a little bit about that, about how you know you should be a little mindful, but it still it doesn't matter what you do. Somebody can twist something completely innocent into being something uh, not innocent. And what happened to her was back when she was doing the, and I'm drawing a blank, one of the shows that she used to do. Anyhow, it was a tech show that she used to do. And when something like she was on there, back in the day or something. Yes, I think that's what it was. Something. Yeah, and well, anyway, uh, at the end of her show, Techzilla, that's what it is. Uh, when she oh. would do her, how could you forget oh. that? Right. Exactly. But anyway, you watch uh, Dear Veronica, right? Mm-hmm. Her current show. Mm-hmm. You know how at the end she does the the, quips, uh, like the, the, the bloopers or whatever, yeah. the outtakes? Well, they used to do this on Techzilla as well. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the show, the producers had a, a like a blooper reel up. And one of the things on there was she was wearing a shirt with, with Cthulhu on it. And she was making a joke about how she would like move her – body like this and she was like look cthulhu is swimming and there was this whole joke right okay so somebody takes just that clip and and puts it up on youtube and says hey look it's veronica belmont's boobs or something 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 like that okay and that okay wait 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 wait, wait, wait wait breaking news veronica belmont a fairly attractive uh younger middle age i don't know she's probably like 30 or something like that woman has boobs i know newsflash right what right this is crazy so, talk <laughs> right so you know there's a little bit offensive i guess yeah but not crazy i mean right. not you know it's like okay whatever Ooh, look at the girl's boobs but then somebody no she is wearing a shirt in this it's not like she's just flashing boobs around you know with the correct okay correct. I just, yeah. I just this, want to clear, is, clarify for that one guy watching this like what the hell where's her boobs at Right. So then someone further takes it down to just like the thumbnail of just her, like her head down to her chest Mm -hmm. and turns it into an animated GIF and perpetuates that. And it's and now all uh, all context is removed. There's no benefit of of, you know, what what was going on, why she was doing this. Nothing, nothing. The other side of the story is not there. Well, there's no story there. Now it's just an animated GIF. It's just her moving her chest around, basically just over and over and over and over and over mm-hmm. and over. And she made a joke. She made a joke during the talk about how she'll sometimes just bring up that gif and she'll just get mesmerized by it. <laughs> uh, but these, this person or who, you know, whoever made this gif mm-hmm. and put it out there, it's it it pops up absolutely everywhere now. Um, whenever. Whenever she gets on, let's say Reddit or or any sort of uh, excuse me, any sort of a uh, uh, forum or a blog or anything like that, some troll always pops in there and says, "Hey, Veronica, uh, remember this or something like that," and they'll post the GIF. It follows her now, absolutely everywhere she goes. And somebody actually sent her a screenshot of a, I guess it was a pornographic website or something like that there was an ad off to the side that had her animated gif oh wow in it as part of the ad for some adult site <laughs> so this thing is like you know it's like pandora's box it's it's out there it's it's gonna be there forever that's yeah that's kind of crazy right yeah a- anyway if you want to know more this is i think it's about a 20 minute talk and it's really 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 good and I, just just FYI, I, I did a quick search for it and I couldn't find it. So maybe my Google it, Foo isn't working right now. It's in the show notes. Oh well, I guess there's that. Yeah, and it'll be available for everyone. Yeah, 
maybe. Um, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's one of those things that it, like, uh, like the talk with, um, with, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, the Bill Clinton chick. Um, oh, oh. how am yeah. I drawing a blank on her name? Anyway. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. See, that's, that's having a sister moment too. I can't think of it. <laughs> Anyway, that's kind of like, kind of, kind of how that one went too. Monica Lewinsky. Yeah, Monica Lewinsky. That was another uh, very interesting talk about how things can just get out of control, and it's kind of like, well, you just accept it and you just move on, you know. Otherwise, otherwise, it changes what you, the way that you're doing your life, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just sad that some people are really shitty like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, all right, man. Uh, Captain America Civil War trailer. I'm guessing you, you watched watch this. I did not, yeah. but I'll tell you why I didn't watch it. I haven't watched any of the Captain Americas. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah I'm still. I'm, I'm like. Uh, I'm. I'm the last holdout, apparently. Yeah. I, well, I, I will say this: out, out of all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, I think the the Captain America movies are the best done. They're the most well done. Okay. Um, I, I, as, I like as, in, them. as in true to the comic book or true to translation on screen. I mean, like. Um, well, I think the, the, the entire MCU does well, um, well, as a, as a translation of the comic, but it's not a direct translation and it was never meant to be, mm -hmm. it was meant to be true to the spirit of the characters and the situations. And I think all of them have done well with that, but I mean, for pure cinematic uh, entertainment value that, that exactly, exactly that CEV uh, market it down. <laughs> Check. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've always thought that the, the Captain Americas were were the the mo the the best of the uh, MCU, and this one looks like it's going to be pretty good. But it's basically it's more like Avengers three than so than uh, Captain America three mm. from what it looks like because it's got aside from the Hulk, I think it's got like every MCU character in it. So all of like basically the Avengers cast is going to be in this nice. movie, um, but it looks interesting, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I, th I think it's going to be a good movie. It's going to be a. It's not going to be as epic in scale as what the comic story was. I I don't even know if they could possibly do that on the screen, but for what they've got going on in the MCU, I think this is going to be a good a good version of the story. This is another time in my life when I. Wish I was a comic book geek. Yeah. <laughs> you just, Nobody you know, ever wishes that. Uh, I do. I feel, I feel like I'm missing out on so much. Like there's yeah. so much out there that I just, I will never experience because I didn't experience it when I was younger. And now for me to go back and, and Comicology. do what? Comicology. Comicology. Yeah. Cause I have time and, uh, <laughs> and I would really have the appreciation value of it now at 38 years old that I would have had at 10. Yeah. That's, no, <laughs> like regardless, even if I read them all now, there's something that I'm going to miss out of the whole ordeal. So, you know, it's, it's just <laughs> it's an know? ordeal. <laughs> yeah. You know, because when you're 10, you see things differently. When you're reading comic books, that's true. You, you're, you see things differently. The world is is grander in scale, but smaller in size. And, you know, it, it's it's such a different experience when you're reading things when you're younger than you than it is when you're an adult. Uh, I first realized this when I was reading Game of Thrones. The book Game of Thrones, or a, mm -hmm. a game, a, a Game of Thrones, a Game of Thrones. Yeah, you um, didn't, you didn't, yeah, you didn't read this when you were ten, though. No, but reading that as an adult and remembering similar, um, similar scenes and similar uh, uh, environments from reading books when I was ten or fifteen, mm -hmm. completely different. And I could, I could actually put that into perspective at that time. And then I went back and started rereading uh, Dragons of Autumn Twilight because I was supposed to be doing a, a Dragonlance <laughs> podcast with <laughs> with, uh, with with your lovely girlfriend. And yeah, um, I, I get I get reminded of that every once in a while, <laughs> about, about once a month I think. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I, I started rereading that and I could remember it, it. just it was just a transition. It was just there's a notable noticeable difference in how things are perceived. So I think mm -hmm. comic books would be the same way. Like I would I wouldn't perceive it in my ten year old mind. I would perceive it in my 
sure. 40 year old mind and it, it just wouldn't hold the same because I didn't start when I was 10. I'll, you know, some people, some guys like, uh, you know, uh, big time people or whatever, they started when they were younger and they're continuing to read comic books now. And I can see that they're still, you know, they, they still have that mysticism about them from when they were younger because they've continued it. You know, mm-hmm. whereas I would be starting fresh and I just don't I don't I don't think it would do justice to the to the mystique of the comic books if I were to start now. Plus, I don't have fucking time. Yeah, well, I was going to say you never know. <laughs> you should you should download a couple of the free comics that are out there right I, now. I just want to catch up on Spawn until you know what I mean? Like that was that was my comic book. That was the that was the one that I always loved. I just loved the art. I loved the story. Right. And it just fell off and I just never finished reading it. Yeah, I don't I don't even I don't know if they still do they still do Spawn? I, I don't no know. Idea. I haven't heard anything about Spawn in a long, long, long time. Right, because the time. movie came out and it sucked. Yeah, it was a shitty, shitty movie. Yeah. They, they did some really cool stuff with his cape, with the CGI. But yeah. other than that, what a piece of shit that yeah, was. I, from what I understand, because I never even watched the movie, so... I, oh, I, yeah, well, don't, was, don't torture some, yourself. Somebody told me that it didn't follow the comic book story. Like It was like its own little story, and I was like, ah, fuck it, I'm done. Don't yeah. care. <laughs> don't care. So. Uh, all right, man, and what else we got? Arabesh. What the you know hell what is Arabesh? That is the... It sounds like the language. name of a dog from when you were little. <laughs> that is the written language in the Star Wars universe. So, like, okay. So, think Empire Strikes Back when Luke is flying the X-Wing to Dagobah, and mm-hmm. he's having a conversation with R2-D2. Mm-hmm. And on the screen appears text. He's basically reading a translation of R2-D2. Mm-hmm. And it's in this funky language. Well, anytime you see any writing in the Star Wars Star Wars universe, where whether it's in one of the movies, or it's in a comic, or any of the any of the peripheral materials, used to be called expanded universe, mm-hmm. uh, but <laughs> now it's peripheral materials. <laughs> but yeah, well, that's what that's the name I'm giving to it anyway. But whatever you, you see writing materials. in the Star Wars universe, it is in Arabesh, and it is a it is an actual alphabet that's translatable. So if you if you see it somewhere, you can actually translate it. And I've had for years I've had a, a, a book that actually has the uh, uh, the letters and the, the corresponding English mm-hmm. letters, and it's an easy Google search away. But now it's even easier. You can go to Google Translate and directly translate from any language into Arabesh or uh-huh. vice versa. Now, is it an alternate alphabet for the English language, or is it its own language with sentence structure and and phonetics and everything else? No, it's a it's it's not a it's not a true language. It's just it's just an alphabet. Okay. So so if you translate it, it's going to be it's going to translate to English pretty much. It's it's a it's a direct course a direct alphabetic correspondence. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. Well, so I'm going to start sending you text in our best just to make make you have fucking <laughs> translated over. Like, well, and see, that's bitch. the thing. I don't I don't think that'll actually work because it. I don't think the font exists. Well, at least in the in the sense that I don't know if you can install it on your iPhone. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm, sure someone, I'm sure someone. I'm sure someone will have that best. have that come up. Uh, probably. Probably. <clears throat> Let's 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 see. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure I've, I'm mistaken when I said I don't think it exists. I, I think I mean, I don't think it's. I guarantee it's not pre-installed on your iPhone. How about well, that? Well, okay. <laughs> you don't know. It's they, they could have a Times New Roman or an Arial. Uh, I'm not seeing it on here. Arabic, Azerbaijani. Did you just spell it right in the show notes? Yep. A U R E B E S H. Yeah, it's not on here. <laughs> Might actually have to go to the Google Translate site. It's just not popping up on the little thing. Yeah, you can just you can just go to uh, the link that I posted in the show notes, and it'll bring up an encoded message. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you have to actually go to the Google Translate site. Yeah, if you click on the show the link I put in the show notes, though, there is an mm-hmm. encoded message that's sort of a um. I don't want to call it an in joke, but it's, it's kind of a, a a nerdy. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's go with. Uh, let's go here. Oh <laughs> no, no. You copy it and you paste it into uh, into Messenger, and it just puts it in English. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's unfortunate. 
<laughs> oh well, let's see, let's see what happens if uh, if we put it in the chat room. Let's see what happens up here, and it just goes to English again. So it's basically just a skin. Uh, that's unfortunate. Somebody needs to come up with that. Do that, internet. Do that. Make that happen. Yes. Give me an give me an Arabic alphabet. To yes, I want to be able to text Amos in Arabesh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fucking A, man. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at making a Ritual Misery Twitch slash YouTube slash something channel. Some some fun times with video games. Um, yep, yep. Maybe, uh, maybe some some Rocket League tournaments or something, just to see what goes on. Um, yeah, is there anything else, man? That's all I had for the week. Okay. What about you? <laughs> No, that was more than what I had for the week. Like, <laughs> pulled, pulled shit right out of my left pocket. Didn't even know what was going on. Um, so yeah, good times. <laughs> I tell you what, dude. It's uh, it's it's Thanksgiving weekend. Um, a lot of people had to work today on the old Black Friday, and mm. a lot of people got to sit at home and stare at the family that they they wished was different or whatever else. And I tell you what, being here without family, um. Not to get too sappy, but you start to you really appreciate the things that you have and that are left behind when you're in mm. a situation like this during the holidays. And uh, so, to all the all the deployed folks out there, if you're watching, and uh, all the people that are on remote tours without your family, um, call your mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just make sure that happens. They miss you. Guarantee it. Even if you're in an argument or whatever else, um, promise you they miss you. So. There's that. There's my uh, my public service announcement for the week. Uh oh. Well, th there you go. So um. Yeah. I'm just gonna stare at you, see how awkward I can make the end of the show. <laughs> you gotta love awkwardness, man. I, I I do though. That's the problem. Is I I survive. <laughs> like when a situation goes awkward, I'm like yes. <laughs> just make a game of it just sit there and stare at them and just just your move asshole don't say that but that's what you're thinking it's your move asshole what are you gonna do what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> oh that's fantastic so <laughs> all right man something cool something cool happened today uh -oh. uh, today or yesterday what yeah man uh I got a notification from my bank that um, Amazon has paid us. What? That was pretty cool. Amazon? Yeah. They paid us. They paid us. Because you know what happened? So like, some like of money our fans. Stuff? Yeah, some of our fans went to ritualmisery.com and clicked on the Amazon support link and bought some stuff. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool, though. Huh, huh. They didn't have to pay even a penny extra to send money our way nice nice I, I like i like that that sounds like a good idea i wish i wish there was other ways that people could do that like other stores or you know things like that so maybe like a maybe if, if there's like an apple store itunes store link on the website too that'd be amazing. oh you know when i went when i went to the site and i was looking for the amazon link i did see an itunes link whoa yeah so so you can do itunes you can do amazon what else yep, can yep. we possibly do to help support this show? Um, well, I, I heard that there's this thing called Patreon.com. Patreon.com. I wonder if Ritual Misery has a Patreon. I, you know, I, I think I heard that they do. In fact, I think <laughs> I heard that there is now exclusive content on the Patreon that you can't get anywhere else. That's absolutely true. For the and low, it's... low price of just a penny. <laughs> a penny per and you episode. Don't even have to, and you don't even have to pay that penny. No. Until you have you have subscribed for 100 episodes, and 100. then you will and we don't even have 100 episodes yet. So, like, so if you were a patron from the beginning, you would still be getting this for free. Yeah, you'd only be halfway and still be getting it for free. That's that's what's up. That's what's going on. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, patreoncom slash ritual misery. Um, and I'm sure to sure if you just want to just out and out say screw it, I'm not going to do a subscription shit. I don't want to buy stuff online. But I wouldn't mind throwing just a few bucks your way. Is there a way they can do that? Yeah, absolutely. There's there's a, a PayPal. Whoa, link as just well. Just a straight PayPal link. 
PayPal, yeah. Oh, that's just amazing. Get, you know what? I, I think these guys could use a dollar. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm really, I'm really digging these guys. I'm going to throw 10 bucks at them. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I can see just that. Click, just click on the PayPal button. So, um, so what if you wanted to get something in return, though? Like, you know, the show's just not enough. The show's there, and you, 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 like, you like the show, and you like supporting the show, but you wish, I wish there was just some other way to get, like, something tangible in return. Like a, like a, like a T-shirt or something? Or like a mug or something like that, yeah. That would yeah. be so amazing. And it's going to be. Thank you to Sergeant Muffin for introducing us to a particular website. I'm going to talk to him about it, but I think I have a way to either get the merchandise or get the merchandise with a small donation back to us um one way or the other and i think i think if uh if he's up to it uh, i'm thinking we're gonna have like a i don't know my idea there's there's a dual store one where you can just go and get the stuff and there's no markup at all and then another one where you can get the same stuff but there's like a dollar markup so you can choose if you want to support the show or if you just want the swag ah either way either yeah. way you'd be supporting us by yeah exactly keeping our swag <laughs> exactly so it's, it's just a matter of you know hey is, is I, want, I want a ritual misery t-shirt with the big diamond club logo on the back or i want a ritual misery t-shirt with the diamond club logo on the back and send a dollar their way something like that you know what i mean we're gonna work right. on that but yeah that's that's coming we got swag coming for diamond club yeah. tv that's that's coming that's whether he wants to or not it's already that's a thing come. it's already a thing it's already out there yeah yeah but he hasn't broadcast it out that i know of so you know we're, we're not gonna no he put it out there oh, I, I saw it on yeah it was tweeted a, a few days ago actually okay well there you go so we're, we're going to start uh, getting some cross promotion, some happy, fun stuff. Oh, you see, there it goes right there. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and somebody in the uh, – oh, I was on Night Attack too. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I haven't finished watching that episode. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm behind. I've been too bu too busy playing uh, Fallout 4. Um, somebody wants to know about Bitcoins. Um, we currently don't have a way to – we don't have a Bitcoin locker. And uh, <gasps> I'm not – I'll figure out I'll – I, you know what? I do everything else as far as all this stuff goes. You can figure out the Bitcoin locker, you fucking slacker. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll, out I'll take a bitcoin yeah <laughs> i'll take a thousandth of a bitcoin i well, whatever um yeah. but yeah you, you can figure that out and then uh, we can get that posted up too um so but yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna get that going um <laughs> yeah, we have a troll <laughs> uh, whatever so anyway. yeah man okay so if people want to see you and how you enjoy that beer right there i'm sure you've reviewed it dude I, I have actually just about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Just go to rabia.com, look up username Del Noche. You can read read my review of Pump Kick and about 480 other beers, I think. Nice. Uh, also, you can go to Twitter at rm underscore Del Noche and you can follow me. I'm tweeting a lot more now than what I used to. Hopefully, I'm entertaining or insightful. Well, I've, I've been uh, coming up with all kinds of crazy shit on uh, at Ethan Kane on Twitter, just random yeah. stuff like uh, off color jokes and shit. I don't know. I've just been <laughs> in a weird mood lately. Um, yeah, as long as you're entertaining. Uh, well, I don't know. I it, you know I, I honestly don't care. I just put it out there. You know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, shut the hell up. Move on. Right on. Right on. So, well, I added a new thing. Uh oh, Del Noche seventy seven is my Twitch account. I have account. yet to I have yet to stream because I'm still trying to figure <laughs> out the PS4 networking thing. Which what the fuck? Anyway, once I figure that out, which I'm expecting will be soon, I'm gonna probably test it out with Rocket League or something. Yeah, and j just see how it goes. Well, we'll so if you, wanna, if you want to add me, Del Noche seventy seven. Yeah, you know, bow means we'll have to get that figured out. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. So yeah, I already mentioned that Ethan Kane for me. Uh, you can follow the show at ritual at ritual misery on the old Twitters. You can uh, email us, ritual misery at, at uh, or podcast at ritual misery com. See, I'm even fucking up the tail end of this. So <laughs> it's, it's usually just the beginning. I know. I'm definitely hung over today. That's what it is. Like, whew, man. Um, so you can email us at podcast at ritual misery com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 567 69 TRMPC. That's 567 69 87672. Um, you can find all these links and more ways to give feedback and support us at our website, ritualmisery.com. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Thank you for listening or watching for Kent, for me and for you. This has been your ritual misery podcast. See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>